Today's story, My Brother's Keeper. Once upon a time, at a house just down the street and around the corner, there was a boy named Chris who really had a problem. Oh boy, am I going to be in trouble now? That teacher was mean to give me a zero. I don't see that it's important to learn arithmetic at all. What I got to figure out is how I'm going to prove it to my dad. Bubbles, come back! Oh, no! Why, thank you. That's a dirty trick, Ruffles. I'm getting even with you for this. Come now, Ruffles didn't time your paper, so stop screaming like that. You have nothing to be angry about, unless you have something to hide. Hmm. Disgusting. You got a zero. So that's what you wanted to hide from me. I'll explain if you'll calm down and give me a chance. It isn't my fault. Oh, no? If you're failing at school, you've no one to blame but yourself. There's some children's fathers who help do their homework. Then I'll help you do yours. I'll see that you won't leave your room to go play. Hello? Can Chris please come over to my house and have lunch? Yeah, what a good idea. No, my dear, Chris is confined to his room. When his homework's finished, he can play. Joey, come up to my room and help me study. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I've failed. Hmm. Nuts. Wish I didn't have such a mean father. I don't think he was mean to you, Chris. He was just trying to help you. He was mean. You. Tattletail. Hello, my friends. Ready for another journey back in time? Today, we're going to visit Cain and Abel, the sons of Adam and Eve. about food if you don't mind. Yes, I'm hungry myself. Because we didn't have any lunch. Don't you remember? Uh-oh, your stomach's growling. <laughs> Ow! What's that? A fruit tree. My, look at all those beautiful fruits. Mm. Hey, mm. what are you doing? Mm. How do you know that tree isn't mm. someone's mm. private mm. property? Mm. It's wild, I think. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was the best piece of fruit I ever ate. Don't be afraid to try one, because there isn't anybody around. Oh, oh. yeah? Yeah? Mm. Who's stealing my fruit? Uh, I don't know anything about any fruit, mister. I didn't swipe it. You're lying. What makes you think you can get away with touching my stuff? Now, give it back. I'd love to give it back. 
But I swallowed it already. Then give me some money for what you stole from me. But we don't have any money. Well, you have to give me something. Give me that strange-looking animal over there. Oh, no, I won't let you take Gizmo, mister. Wait a minute. Will you let me wash dishes for you to pay you for the fruit? Wait, I can't let you go home with a strange man. But I'm not frightened. Since I'm the one who took the fruit, I'll go home and wash your dishes for you. I don't want anyone who's a robber like you to come anywhere near my house. You come with me, little girl. Oh! oh. Hold it! Try and make me. What can I do? about little joy it's all my fault that she's in trouble now gizmo now 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 that brute was unfair i won't let him get away with this but we're gonna need someone to help us rescue joy from that man have you noticed that tent over there looks to me like nobody's at home at all at all let's go and see dee -dee -dee -dee. Nobody being at home. What is he doing to that animal? He looks dangerous. Be quiet. The man is getting milk from the goat, that's all. Let's get some milk from that goat, too. But that's how I got into trouble before. Hmm. Shh. Quiet, Kismo. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hello. What are you hiding from down there? Uh, we just happened to be passing by, and we didn't know if we'd be welcome or not, so we hid. Have you traveled here from some faraway country? Right, very far. Then you must be very tired. Would you like to come up to my tent for a rest? Wow, we really would. Sure it's all right? Yes, of course it is. My name is Abel, and I live all alone here except for my herds. Sometimes it gets very lonesome with no one to talk to, so it would be a great pleasure for me if you would stay and have supper with me in my tent. Wow, food at last. Isn't that great? There, help yourself. You must be pretty hungry after your trip. Yum! With a meal like that, you've restored my faith in human beings, Abel. I think we should tell him about the man who kidnapped Joy. Roger. He was a big brute who went ape because Chris ate one little piece of his fruit. That is why he kidnapped our little friend, friend Joy. Yes, I know that man. His name is Cain, and he is my older brother. Huh? You must be thinking of someone else. You're as different as night from day. He behaves so badly because he's very unhappy, and I'm afraid it's my fault. It began when we both left home to start our own farms. We worked hard to clear the land. We planted our wheat fields side by side. Cain was happy. Sure, his crop would be better than mine. But he neglected to water his field, and soon his wheat dried up and died. When we planted our beans, I made sure to remind him to water them. But he was so determined to make his plants grow faster than mine, he gave them too much water, and the beans were drowned. Cain was so disappointed, he turned on me, cursing me for giving him bad advice. Since that time, whenever his crops failed, as they often did, he became furious with me. My fields were thriving, and somehow he was convinced that it was my fault that his were not. I didn't want to be enemies with my brother. I wanted to help him. I decided the best way was to give up farming and start raising animals instead. That fruit tree of his, that just happens to be the only perfect thing he's ever been able to grow. That's what upset him. That is no excuse for kidnapping Joy. Well, why don't we go see my brother and check up on your friend? Hey, you mean you help us save her? I can make him listen to reason if I catch him in a good mood today. He should be, because tomorrow's a holiday. It's a special day that we take off to celebrate the harvest. Well, ready to go? You better. Yeah, why don't you cook your food? It would taste a lot better. Huh? Hmm? 
I'm not clever enough to know how to cut. Clever? It's okay if you're not so smart, because I'm just a little girl, and my mother taught me to make omelets. I'll be glad to teach you the way. Um, I tried to cook an omelet. What a mistake. Anyway, it happens I'm fresh out of eggs. Why don't you ask the hens to get busy and lay some more eggs? Wow, wouldn't an omelet taste wonderful? Well, I didn't have lunch. Don't be such a bother. I like my potatoes. Here, try one oh, yourself. No, thanks. I think I'll wait for the eggs. Yeah? Mmm. Well, you may have a long wait. Kane! Kane! Hmm? May I please come in? Thought I'd pay you a visit. You're not invited. What makes you feel I've got nothing better to do than visit? I'm sorry. I just came because I didn't want you to forget to take your gifts to the Lord tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving? It can't be already. Yes, it is. Now that the fruit is so nice and ripe on your tree, it's certainly going to make a dandy offering for the Lord. Why are you trying to run my affairs? You get out of here! It's my decision what I'm going to take for Thanksgiving. You mind your own business. Okay, okay, I'm going. But wouldn't you like these nice fresh eggs for a breakfast omelet? No! Will you stop trying to make a fool out of me? I have chickens of my own. Oh. Besides, I hate eggs. What a monster. Trying to get him to listen to reason isn't going to be easy. I must apologize for my brother's behavior. Yeah. Do you think there's a chance he'll be in a better mood tomorrow? Yes, because we'll be in God's presence when we meet. At dawn, we take our offerings to the mountain. You know you're welcome to spend the night with me. Thanks to Ski and me and... Ah, uh, I think it's getting dark. We better get going. Do not worry about joy, Chris. If anyone can save her, Abel will be able to do it. Yeah. Chickens, how about laying some eggs like you're supposed to just for a change? Don't you like to be fried, chickens? You made me ashamed in front of Abel and the little girl, too. Please don't scare them, Cain. That's not the way to get them to lay. you got to be kind to animals, then they'll be kind to you. Oh, yeah? I can't wait all year for them to lay some eggs. I must have them by morning. What's the big hurry if you don't care for omelets anyway? Forget the cursed omelets. I want to take some eggs for my Thanksgiving offering to the Lord. What? Why don't you take him some of your beautiful fruit? I can't do that. That's what my brother wanted me to do. What's wrong with taking your brother's suggestion? What's wrong? I know my brother wishes me to fail. Dear Lord, please keep Joy safe. Hmm. Hmm? Huh? Huh? You're not asleep yet? I'm not either. Yes, I see. Are you worrying about your little friend? Yeah. What's that you're making? It's a horn. I hope you like it, because it's for you. Oh, it's really mine? Listen. See? Now you can call the cows. <laughs> well, tomorrow we'll be here before we know it. Let's pray it'll be a better day. If I leave now, maybe I can beat my brother to the altar in the mountain. Cain, wait for me. Stay there. Are you forgetting to take some eggs along? Uh, that's none of your business, you little brat. Bet he was. I 
like this lamb a lot. He's a beauty. It's the best thing you have you offer to the Lord. There, there you are. You think we'll see Cain at the mountain? I just can't imagine that he wouldn't make it. Well, it's almost light. The Lord expects us there at sunrise. Can we come with you? Yes, of course. Hey, I just gotta go and get Gizmo. Gizmo, Gizmo! Wanna go to the mountain with Abel? Sorry, he's so sound asleep that I can't wake him up. Huh, let him rest. There's an offering there. But no one's around. You see this? My brother must have left these vegetables here. If he was here, where did he go? Huh? I hope he remembers that we're expected at sunrise. I mentioned it so many times. Oh, Cain! Oh, Cain! done well. I accept your offering. Lord, please accept my brother's offerings instead of mine. No, Abel. I know every thought and deed. I know that Cain has not offered his best as you have. Kneel, brother. Bend to the Lord's will. Why should I? What does he want? I try to do my best, but he doesn't appreciate it. Everything I do is wrong, wrong, wrong! Cain, why are you so angry? Why do you turn your face from me? If you truly believe you have done your best, lift up your eyes to the Lord. your fault. You're the one who turned the Lord against me. I'll get you for this. I'm always put to shame because of you. So you think you're so smart? I'll teach you a lesson. No, no. What happened was Abel's fault. Come with me, brother. Open your eyes, please. Hmm? Hmm. How, ow, oh. how'd you get away? Cain forgot to lock the tent. When he left, I went to Abel's place, but you were gone. We're over here, Gizmo. Roger. Come on over. How did you find out where I was? Well, Gizmo wasn't asleep when you left him. He only needed winding up. Hey, wait. Oh, what happened to Abel? He's gone. Cain was taking him away someplace. Come on. Oh, oh Abel's all right. He may be in real danger. from your home, and you shall wander the face of the earth from this day forward.
guess we're back. Hmm? Guess we are. Oh. Oh. I feel so sorry for Abel and for Cain. I don't feel sorry for Cain. There was no one else to blame but himself. Oh, Chris, don't forget that you were the one who was blaming his dad when you failed in arithmetic. What? How did you know? You must have been eavesdropping. Well, I wasn't trying to overhear, but I couldn't miss. Joy, please don't tell the kids about my failing grade. I'm going to study so hard that next time I get a hundred. You admit that it was your own fault that you failed? I learned my lesson. I can't blame anyone else but me. <laughs> Great! Then why don't you start your homework right now, okay? That's a good idea. But let's get something to eat first. Oh. Hello. Do you mind if I come in? Dad, I'm starting my homework. Hey, what's all that stuff for? I've decided you were right for once. It is a father's place to help his child. So, I got you these books to help you study. Huh? Wow. Oh, for me? <laughs> That's our story for today. From the house just down the street and around the corner. This is Superbook inviting you to join us next time for another exciting adventure. Don't you know it's so, 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 so.